got a little awkward. That's coming up next. Stay with us. Holbrook, quote, that's a very creative question, but it bears no resemblance to reality. Question, quote, okay, thank you. Holbrook, quote, there's nothing in your question that relates to anything I do, so there's no point in trying to explain it. Question, quote, thank you, Ambassador. <laughs> when you read the transcripts of Ambassador Richard Holbrook's interviews and his briefings, he is often just withering to the people who are questioning him. He was not that way with me in our interview today, but I did ask him about his legendary propensity for barbecuing journalists. Let me ask you just one last question, and this is a little bit different than we, what we've been talking about, but I was really struck in prepping to talk to you today, reading a lot of your briefing transcripts and your interview transcripts with other people, and um, oh. you are... You are combative with your questioners often. You've not been very combative with me, which I take with a big grain of suspicion. (laughs) Uh Well, you know, I'm not confusing you with Chris Matthews. (laughs) (laughs) No one ever does. (laughs) (laughs) But I I wonder if you are combative um, with questioners often, both in briefings and in interviews, because you feel like the media is often getting the story of the war in Afghanistan wrong. Do you feel like the media (laughs) is blowing it? Do you feel like the American people understand really what's going on? I think the journalists on the ground in Afghanistan are really good. Really good. They're among the best ever. Mm. And they get their, I don't have, I don't always agree with everything they wrote. Uh, They have their job to do. But I'm not going to take issue with somebody like Carlotta Gall or Dexter Filkins or Pamela Constable. They're brave people. They're out with the troops. And I read what they write with great interest. I think people, I think journalists in Washington have a different affect. And and you are neither. You're neither in Afghanistan. And I never combated with the journalists in Afghanistan, nor was I competitive with the journalists in other things, in other areas I was involved. But Washington journalists are not journalists in the sense that you think of they they have narratives and they are addicted to their narratives but these are these are real interviews you and i are having a conversation here which i hope illuminates the situation am i combative by nature well i've read that but it's really in my view it's inherent in the job this is a this is a job that involves combat we have american men and women putting their lives at risk every day giving their lives, being wounded. And we who are working on this issue owe it to them to do the best we can. And and time is precious here, and I don't want to see it slip away. The, the, what, I'm, what I've just said to you is my own deep conviction, but it's also something President Obama has said in a slightly different context, both publicly and privately. And I, I not only agree with him, but I think that we all have to remember what what this is about. We've sent young men and women out to one of the most difficult places in the world, as you showed so wonderfully last week, to risk their lives. And those of us sitting in Washington have to do everything we can to get them the support they need and to make the strategy work. Ambassador Richard Holbrook, the U.S. Special Representative for Afghanistan and Pakistan, thank you for this much of your time. It's a real honor, sir. Thanks a lot. My honor. There is yet more of my interview with Richard Holbrook. Yes, still more to say. That will be posted soon at matoblog.msnbc.com.